cooking should be about this, should be about people getting together and having a little bit of time to spend with each other and talk. A simple dish, tasty as anything. I'll get into it now. What I'm doing is scaring all the fish into a net. And hopefully, there's going to be lots of them in there for lunch. <laughs> now this recipe actually came off a palm leaf, which was transcribed and put into a book called The Food of the Ancient Kings. And the fellow behind me here loved this dish. I'm going to get people to try it to see what they think. <laughs> cool. You hear that sound? That's the sound of kotoroti, Sri Lanka dining at night. And I've always wanted to try and have a go at it. What are you doing to me? That's a shocker. Why are you laughing? Ah! <laughs> the sound and the colour and the memories of this place probably mean more to me than anything. From long time. Long time. <laughs> I see. Good to see you. Yeah. But every time I come to this temple, I come here. It gives me a few minutes to think about my dad. And they say, as long as you keep thinking about somebody, they never die. I'm going to make wild boar curry, but with pork, coconut roti, and a lovely carrot salad, because there's so many carrots growing around here. Damn hot. But we're on the beach, thank goodness. Here goes. Nothing more you could ask for. <laughs>